Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain an update to the Visual Basic Editor for the Excel 2016 version for Mac. So here it is. A lot of it, Mac users have been waiting for this for quite a while, and we now have an update to the VB Editor for the Mac version of Excel. And as we can see right up here, there are a lot of new buttons up here in the toolbars, which we can use to run our code and also debug it. I won't go into each of these, but there's a lot of great new features here and functions that we're used to seeing in the Windows version or the 2011 version for Mac. We also have the VBA project window over here on the left side with all of the uh, objects, the sheet objects, and then the code modules as well for each project. We have the properties window down here as well as the immediate window and the locals window. So all of those tools we're familiar with using in the other versions of Excel are now on the Excel 2016 version for Mac. And I should point out that this is a pre-release build of Excel but it is available to the public. So I have another video that explains how to get and download and install this pre-release version, but you can do this and uh, take a look at the VB Editor and start using it and also st start providing Microsoft feedback on any bugs uh, you might find or anything else you want improved. So a few of my other favorite features here are the IntelliSense menus are available now as well. So if I start, if I go into my code module here and I'll just start typing a sheet reference to sheet two, and then when I hit the dot, I'll get the IntelliSense window with all the properties and methods for that sheet object listed right here. And of course I can down arrow to scroll through this list and I can hit the tab key to fill that. So that helps prevent typos in our code and also makes just coding just faster and easier. So I love that. We have IntelliSense here. I'll go ahead and delete that line. Uh, we also have keyboard shortcuts. So right here on the menus, if we click any of the menus, we'll see all of our keyboard shortcuts for each of these commands listed on the right side right here. So this is great as well. A lot of time savers uh, with keyboard shortcuts. Really popular one is in the debug menu which is step into, which is shift command I, that's the F8 equivalent on the Windows version. And that will allow you to step into your code and run just one line of code at a time. So I'll go ahead and do that. Shift command I right here, we'll jump that cursor there. You can see that yellow highlighted at the top of my code right here. If I hit it again, that'll jump down to the next line and continue to run lines of code here in my macro. So another great feature there handy little sh keyboard shortcut, shift command I. And then of course we can hit the stop or reset button right there to stop running that macro. Uh, like I said, there are a few little uh, bugs here. One that I noticed was the Excel button is not working yet when we click it. It doesn't go back to Excel, so we'll just need to uh, click the Excel window to get back to Excel. And if you want to open the Visual Basic Editor, if you don't know how to do that yet, it's on the Developer tab of the ribbon, and we have the Visual Basic button right here. That keyboard uh, shortcut is Function Option F11. Function Option F11 will open the Visual Basic Editor. If you don't see the Developer tab in the ribbon, you can just uh, click the Excel menu here, go to Preferences, and that will bring up the Excel Preferences window. Then we'll go to Ribbon and Toolbar, and right over here on the right side, we'll see the Developer checkbox. Yours is probably unchecked. Just check that checkbox and hit Save, and it'll take uh, just a few seconds there. And load the Preferences window, and we can close the Preferences window, and then you should see the Developer tab right here, and then the Visual Basic button, so you can jump into the new VB Editor and start testing it out. Now, one other notable feature that is missing from this VB editor is user forms. So if we go to this little insert uh, dialog here or button and click the drop down, we can see we can insert a module and a class module and a procedure, but no user forms. Uh, same thing from the insert menu here, no user forms listed yet. If you do open a file that contains user forms, you won't be able to see or edit the user form over here in this window, the code module window. So that is one limitation, but hopefully it'll be coming soon in the future. It's just very cool to see that Microsoft is working on the Mac version of Excel and updating the VB editor for us. Uh, very big step forward here for the Mac version of Excel 2016.
So I encourage you to try it out. Like I said, I'll have a whole nother video that walks through how to install that new pre-release build and also how to provide feedback to Microsoft with any bugs that you find or, or any, anything else you'd like to see in the VB editor. So if you're excited about this new update, please leave a comment below letting us know and also let us know if you have any questions. If you'd like to learn more about macros, then join me for a free upcoming webinar on the seven steps to getting started with macros in VBA. During this training, I'm going to explain how to write your first macro, what order the code runs in, what the dots between the words mean, and some of these complex things that are hard to understand when we're starting out with macros. So this will really help you automate Excel and save a ton of time with your job. So click the link right below this video to get registered for the free webinar, and I look forward to seeing you there.